Hello, Todd. Hey, how's it going? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, oh okay, good. Are you at the hotel or you're uh Uh, Brad, if you could just post your audio for me, please. Hello, good morning. Terrific. And Peter, if you would do the same. Yep. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you so much. Eileen, do you know if uh, 05 is Donna or Vern? Uh, no, that's me. Oh, okay. Uh, We'll just maybe wait one more minute to see if Donna or Vern uh, join us. Oh, and Vern is on. Hold on one moment, please. And Raphael, should I um, promote Tanya Rainey as a panelist? Sure. Hi, Vern. Greetings, all. Hi. I'm on desk duty right now, so I may pop out for a second. But okay. Waiting for my relief. Nice jacket. Thank you, sir. Hey, Tanya. All right, well, I think we have a quorum, so we'll go ahead and get the meeting started. All right. Uh, but before doing so, I need to do uh, some reading real quick. And I don't know where my glasses went, so here we go. All right, so calling the meeting to order. So um, call meeting to order then, okay, due to the, due to the provisions of the governor's executive orders N-25-20 and N-29-20, which suspend certain requirements of the Brown Act and the order of the health officer of the County of Sonoma to shelter in place to minimize the spread of coronavirus 19, the city that Santa Rosa Tourism Business Improvement Area Board Committee will be conducting today's meeting in a virtual setting using Zoom webinar. Committee members and staff are participating from remote locations or participating uh, uh, in using and, and practicing uh, social distancing protocols. Members of the public may view and listen to the meeting as noted on the city's website and as noted on the agenda. Members of the public wishing to speak during items, item three, public comment or during our public hearing items will be able to do so by utilizing the raise hand feature, uh, their hand to, to raise their hand or pressing star nine on their phone, uh, they, they, they then be given the ability to address the committee so that they, they can address the committee afterwards. Um, all right, so uh, request the recording secretary to take roll call. Eileen, can you take roll call, please? 
yes, I see that all members are present um, with the exception of, and uh, Rafael, if you could give me a hand here. I know that we are missing one individual. I apologize, but I don't have their name handy. Donna, um, hold on just one. Oh, thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate that. Um, that will be recorded. Okay, thank you. All right, so moving on to item two, we just did the uh, uh, roll call and call the meeting to order. Item two is uh, public comments. Okay, I do not see any raised hands at this time. All right, thank you. All right, so moving on to item three is approval of some minutes that um, we had uh, pending for the last couple of meetings. So um, we're going to go ahead and approve the minutes for the July 23rd meeting. And those meetings minutes are attached to the agenda. I don't know if you had a chance to review them. But if anyone, like, anyone would like to make a motion to approve those minutes, feel free to. I'll move to approve those. OK, I second. Thank you. Okay, all those in favor to approve the July 23rd meeting? Aye. Approve? Aye. Say aye. aye. Okay, any opposed? I was not been involved. All right. Okay, and now um, item 3.2, we have some additional minutes from our um, meeting, uh, special meeting uh, on August 6th. So uh, I'll uh, need to have somebody make a motion to approve those. Meeting minutes. Approve. Okay. <laughs> Vern, motion to approve meeting minutes from the meeting of August 6. Who second? Peter, my second. Peter, okay. All those in favor of approving the meeting minutes from the August 6, 2020 meeting, say aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? No. I'm going to abstain from August as well. Okay. I was not at the meeting for July or August, so I'm abstaining Got it. from both folks. Eileen, did you get that? I did. Thank you. Excellent. All right. So moving on to item four um, is uh, event support applications. So we have two applications listed um, on our agenda. And I know that we have had some previous conversations regarding uh, budget, regarding uh, event support. We did have one application at the July meeting. Um, so here we have two. So uh, item 4.1 is uh, the application that was submitted from the country summer music festival folks. And this is an event for slated for July 18th through July 20th of next year. So we'll need to uh, um, make a motion to uh, possibly, uh, I'm thinking, discuss, uh, given that the uh, currently the program is sort of uh, on hold uh, due to budget constraints. Um, I don't know if you want to add anything else, uh, Brad. Yeah, as staff of ESR, my recommendation is that we do hold off on making the decision until January. Currently, we don't have a budget this year based on current circumstances. However, these both these take place in um, late or uh, middle of uh, next year, so June, so we have time. I would recommend that uh, at this point, we postpone making the decision until the January meeting when we have a better idea of budget for the 2021 fiscal year. And just as a side note um, for everyone, the November regular scheduled November meeting is Thanksgiving Day. Therefore, we would not have a November meeting. So any additional applications that come through between now and then would also be reviewed on that January date unless the board determines to have an emergency meeting uh, to make a decision that's something prior to a January event. But based on the city of Santa Rosa's and the Sonoma counties not issuing permits for large events at the end of the year, I don't think that would be an issue. Again, 
uh, if something did come up before the November meeting, we could call emergency meeting, but my guess is that any applications coming in after this would also be pushed to the January regularly scheduled meeting. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you, Brad. And uh, the amount uh, requested is $30,000. So uh, we could definitely discuss it at the January, January meeting. So I'll need to make a motion to uh, continue our discussion and consideration for this particular uh, application for the January meeting. Uh, so all those in favor to have that discussion in January, say aye. 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 Uh, I I can uh, I'm sorry, Rafa. Could we caveat that just to say you know we'll we'll reach out to the applicants to let them know what's oh, going yes. on. Oh yes, I I will take care of that uh, and right. reach out to Alan Jacoby who uh, put in these let him let them know that that and that Charlene and I, if any applications do come across before January, we will have those conversations with everyone. And again, if there is something that comes across that we need to have a decision on, we can. I will uh, forward make sure Raphael and Eileen have that as to create uh, to request an emergency meeting um, since the next review date is not till January. Okay, and I'm sorry, Eileen, did I skip that part where I uh, request comments from the public? Yeah, uh, you did. Um, <laughs> yes, and if um, if I just wanted to take a moment, we've had an additional person um, joined by phone. Um, if you would like to make comments. Um, you simply will press star nine and that'll let us know that you would like to make a public comment. Um, Member Rivera, if you would like to request those comments, that would be great. Yes, um, any um, um, comments from the public? I see no hands at this time. Okay, all right, we'll move on to item four point, uh, under uh, item four, uh, four point two which is another application. And this one uh, is from the same folks, uh, but this is a rock and revelry music festival. Sounds very exciting. I think uh, they're gonna be playing music by Metallica and all those kind of things. Um, so again, we got the same situation. They're actually requesting for a total of $60,000. Um, so um, I'm not gonna go into further detail. You have all the information there in front of you regarding this particular uh, application and request. So I would like to make a motion again to have this further uh, some further discussions regarding this second application for our January meeting once we know a little bit more uh, on where we are with uh, budget related uh, items. Yeah, I second that. <clears throat> Any comments from the public at this time? I see no raised hands at this time. Okay, so motion passes to have the further discussion. Well, you, gotta, oh. you, gotta, you gotta vote. <laughs> oh yeah, so all those in favor to have the discussion in January. Aye. Aye. Okay, any opposed? Aye. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, so motion passes to uh, have further discussion regarding the uh, uh, this mu other music festival, uh, which is a rock and roll one uh, slated for January 25th through the 27th of next year. So, okay. So uh, that uh, concludes our meeting. I don't know if there's anything, uh, last minute items that we need to bring up that are on the agenda. All right, well, uh, meeting is adjourned. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, it's gonna be hot and some potential PSPSs. So be on the lookout and uh, please stay safe. And I look forward to seeing you back in January. Uh, for clarification, again, uh, our next coming meeting would, would have been uh, uh, on, the third, on the fourth Thursday of November, which falls on Thanksgiving. So we're going to skip that meeting and then hold our regular meeting back in January. Thanks, all right, thank you all. Thank you. Bye, Ryan. Right. Thank you all. Thank you, Eileen. Bye, Todd.